Hello, my name is Camila and today I will be showing you how I created this painting. I will be using Coliro Pearl Colors for the first time here. You can follow my Instagram or my TikTok. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like this video and let's get started. I'm starting off with a sketch. This is Hedy Lamar. She was an actress and an inventor. A very smart woman. Here I'm starting adding a light layer of watercolor for the skin tone. I want to spread it out evenly and then I'm starting to add more shadows with a slightly darker color. I keep on layering slowly I'm concentrating the paint in the darkest areas but everything is happening quite slowly because with watercolor you have to work in layers. So now when everything is dry I'm starting with that very harsh shadow on her neck. I'm doing it right now because it's easier to correct your shadows on the whole face if you have a reference photo that has a very dark shadow as this one. It's good to paint the darkest shadow first and then keep on layering more and more shadows on the whole face so you have a better picture if everything is balanced or not. Here I'm blending the edges of the paint. I'm also using a Canson paper for watercolors for the first time. It's called XL Aquarelle. So I'm trying to see how the paint works on this particular paper. Here I'm just adding random splashes of paint on her dress. And when everything is dry, I start on working on the details on her face, like her lipstick and her eyes. I'm adding darker shadows on her lips. Then with a very tiny brush I'm starting to paint the details on her eyes. Like her eyeshadow and eyelashes. I'm adding more shadows on her eyelids whenever I feel like it needs to be more deep. Then I'm working on her eyebrows with a slightly darker color, not a black, but like a deep brown color. I'm adding more shadows on her dress. Here 
Here I'm using a mix of a brown and blue to create a different type of grey. And the first layer on her hair is also a mix of brown and blue to create more interesting color. I mean her hair is probably black but I'm starting off with a grayish type of color. I'm leaving the paint on the edges like that to blend it later to create more texture on her hair. So here I'm adding more shadows on her face because as I've added her hair then I thought it's not dark enough so I had to go back and darken it a little bit and now I'm adding a layer of pure black paint on her hair to create more dimension in the painting Now I'm starting the background, I don't really have a plan really what to do, I just go with the flow. So I'm adding the same mixture of blue and brown to create a dark background. I keep adding more water whenever I feel like I need it. Here I'm adding more of that greyish color and I'm just adding random splashes of paint everywhere. adding a pure black paint and I'm creating a lot of lines after the paint is quite dry but not completely dry I go back with the black paint and I paint more circular lines So the lines spread out, but not too much. Now I'm removing the masking fluid I used earlier. And I'm starting to work on the details. So as I said, I'm using the Colirol paints for the first time. I will be making a separate video reviewing those paints so if you're interested you can subscribe to be notified whenever I do that but I want to try it out some more before I talk about them so I'm mixing the red pearlescent paint with a bit of water to create a lighter effect
I'm also adding more details on her dress but this time I'm not really making any shapes but just random splashes of paint here I'm using this black pearlescent paint that is quite interesting it doesn't look as reflective as the rest but it still gives a very nice effect now when that black pearlescent paint is still wet and it's mixing with the previous layers I'm adding a bit of the white pearlescent paint so the paints can blend together nicely and now with a small detail brush I'm painting more details right now I'm doing the these uh, thing is <laughs> I don't know how to call them in the background so I started painting the whole stars but I felt like it wasn't necessary and that it was too much so I decided to go for like random splashes of paint in the background I'm using also the black pearlescent paint to create more shadows on her crown. And then I'm adding this pale gold to the stars. So I've also added a bit of white uh, paint in the background, but I think I forgot to film that. And here is the finished piece. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that like button. We see you in my next video. Bye-bye.